What's happening folks and welcome to a brand new season of the PSG Let's Play. If you're excited for this episode, hit the like button down below and subscribe to Daily FM content on the channel. Down below is my Let's Play channel which has got Jedi Ford on there. And also very soon, assuming there's no delay in the release of it, Resident Evil 4, the remake of that's coming out. Um, <clears throat> I understand it's on 24th, issue of March it comes out around that time, um, maybe earlier, maybe a bit earlier than that, but that's going to be on the channel. It's probably going to be overlapped between the two games, because I can't switch off Mission Jedi Fallen Order video-wise, and before the new new one comes out. Also, guys, I'm live on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, when I'm able to, but as I always say, work just doesn't cooperate uh, with me. So, literally, internet has just been fixed today, which is Wednesday, I'm recording this. Friday, I'm working. Monday, I'm working. Go figure. Um, so, yeah, I might stream on Monday, um, I'm, I'm working Monday, I might stream Monday, Monday morning, um, just so that I get streaming then, but yeah, it, it is what it is. So, first, day, first game of the season, the Trophy of Champions for Cup Final, but you want to know what I've done in the transfer market. Well, I spent a buttload of money, let's take a look. First thing I want to go over is two men G, two men G, I, I'm, I'm probably going to say it wrong completely um said i liked him brought him in now we'll say if we're going to favor most of these deals in fact, well, not all of them i think were done with installments so they weren't all done up front look at those mentals look at that passing look at that marking tackling blimp midfielder the work rate's fantastic cost us around i think 80 million i think it was yeah 80 million pounds but it's not all up front i think it was like 40 or something like that 40 or 25 and something like that it was something like that um but yeah um, love that work. He's a start ahead of Verratti, but just that work rate and the positioning and everything, he's a fantastic midfielder. John Claire Todrio, I'm going to just call him Jean, um, was a place for Ramos. Uh, he wants to be a really good start. A lot of his guys did, but um, I just feel like I'm willing to just get, I want to get them in. Uh, Ramos was left to go to, I think, wait, I can't wait, is it Chelsea he's gone to? I think he's gone to Chelsea. And this guy just fits the bill. Not good work rate, but he has got good marking tackling. He won't start every game. He thinks he will, but he's not going to. Cost us not that much, actually. Cost us 35 million pound. The issue was um, the contract is quite high, or higher than I would like, because 140k a week. Just down to interest in him. A lot of, players, a lot of teams are after Liverpool in for him. I think Chelsea came in for him. Liverpool definitely, definitely were there. So a lot of clubs were after him. So obviously with that, you have to trade off. So anyway, I think a good deal. Um, and yeah, he's he's going to rotate with our centre-backs. The big deal of the summer is Muslera. I know how good this guy can be. Uh, and I brought him in for a lot of money. Because the value is high anyway. 120 million, 120 million. However, however, again, not all up front. A big chunk of it was up front. But yeah, he is in. Um, very happy with this deal. I love the work rate on him. Vision, the metals are great. He's got he's 20 years old, but I think he, I think he can still improve. But it's just that work rate, and I couldn't do everything I wanted to do in the summer. I've still got some money left over I could spend, but I don't really know what else to do at this point. So that's basically the incomings done. Outgoings. As you can see, Fabian's left 30 million pound. Vatina's left. Solas left. Icardi, Paredes, uh, Draxler, Kozawa. However, left for a very short fee, but because I think there's a, if I remember correctly, there was a fee agreed in the loan in the, in the loan agreement. I don't think anybody else left in the on the other side of the screen. No, the little player left for Ramos. The little player and Ramos, Ramos went to Chelsea. So I brought in was forty six million pound for 40, 46 million pound each there. So around hundred eighty million pound brought in and around hundred eighty million pound spent ish, uh, give or take. Um, bit more. It's probably a bit more than that, actually. It's probably about two hundred million, over two hundred million pounds spent, but also around hundred eighty million pounds brought in. So we're actually really still in a great position with our finances, and our FFP is still obviously going to be well in the green. So we could still spend some money on players. We have still got money left over uh, to invest. We could. We've got another hundred and seven million pounds to spend. Well, not really because of my budget, but let's get eighty nine million pounds to spend on players. The only thing I can strengthen at this point would be striker, and but it means moving Ronaldo on, and. And I'm not a big fan of um, selling a player and then paying the wages. I don't like doing that. So, unlikely it's going to happen. So, new sign can start today. He can maybe go on the bench. Straight away, look at the bench. Fakir, Sanchez, Dembele and Marquinhos. Obviously, he's a bit splendid. But those are guys are not playing. This squad's a lot better. And the midfield I'm going with is these two. Because, literally, work rate. 
work rate, decent work rate, good work rate. I don't think Mbappe's got great. I, I think Mbappe's quite low though. Yeah, but that's basically what I've gone with. Trying to get, I couldn't get all the pools I wanted in because I'm not going to sell Neymar because I feel like he's a good option to have to, and rotate. I want to rotate the squad, and at no point. The only thing I could do was sign right winger, but again, it means moving somebody on. And I don't really feel like I need to. I think Dembele is a good, a good a good squad player, backup player. I don't think Asensio has been terrible. So there's no real need to sign somebody there. If someone comes available, um, I would be interested in doing that. But it'd be somebody like a Salah, a really top class player, because I'm just going to go all out and buy these players whenever I can. So cup final, we're going to play the full match. Um, not long and high, it's cool. So you're going to see like... The, basically, every highlight that happens, you'll see it. If there's a dead air, like I'm not talking about anything, anything like that, I'll then just obviously cut that out. But let's say we get on today, hopefully, we can get the win. And Messi on the ball now. A bit of fortune there. Finds Mbappe. He's got options made backwards. Messi. Camavinga. Can he find a pass? He's got a plenty of options here. Got the goal instead! I mean, at least he's on target. If it's if he just completely got if the shot was blocked, I've been a bit I've been a bit annoyed by that. Messi with a free kick, dinks it in. Upacano cleared. Messi gets across there, makes it at least very difficult for him at least. Camavinga. Now Mendes. Now Muslera. Nice turn, brilliant turn. Oh, unlucky with the shot. Did really well there. Beat his man. <clears throat> just unfortunately couldn't get a shot on target. Got Green in there. It's not Rob Green, surely. Long ball at the pitch. Won by. Defenders Muslera now. I buy two Asensio. Now Akimi. That's a poor pass. That's the word lack of work rate from Mbappe there, unfortunately. Long ball. Two of should do with that. Abukar wins it. Camavinga. Now Mendes. Play it forward if you can. I'll move forward with it. There you go. Muslera. That's a poor pass. And that's an issue now with a counter attack. Because now we're out, we're, out, we're out of position a little bit here. Stop the cross. Or stop the pass at least. Cut inside. Hmm. That's just down to once again being out of position from a poor pass, and then we couldn't recover it. Messi, Akimi, these options in the penalty area. He's got, he's got, he's got him arriving in there. Cleared. Akimi wins, wins it back. Two MNG. Kamavinga. Two MNG again. There's a shot. What a hit that would. If that had gone in, that would have been goal season. But saying that, we know goal season doesn't make any sense anyway, does it? I'm guessing the midfield Mith partnership still. Well, it is very, very new. Good ball through. Muslera. Oh, offside. I was going to say, it felt like it was offside initially. initially. But I think the midfield partnership is still very new. Uh, or Messi free kick isn't how you know it's going in, don't you? Off the bar. And can I get there first? Asensio, first time pass? Maybe not. But we are dominant. We just need to find that killer pass. Which so far we've not managed to find. Upacano. Two Menji. Good ball to Akimi. Can he find a cross? He can. Muslera's arriving in there. Mendes picks up loose ball. Okay, he's got a corner out of it at least. I don't think that was the right option to go for, but he got he got a slight bit of fortune with, with the corner kick. Messi curls it in. Kanvinga's in there, cleared. Now Asensio. Two Menji. Akimi. Messi. Mendes. Again, he's trying to go for the killer ball, but there's a guy right in front of him. He's to try and make more space for himself first. We've been incredible so far. They've got a set piece now. You know what's coming, don't you? In, F in, FM, in FM world. Cleared. Messi just after it. Can't get there first. Stop the cross then, at least Messi. I feel like it's just... Yeah, I feel like the, I feel like we're just not getting tight to people enough in those areas. I do think it's still a match engine thing as well. We need to work out. Asensio. Needs some support here. I idea runs in behind would be nice. Messi. Asensio. Lay it across if you can. Why has he gone backwards for? Could put put in the penalty area, bro. I don't understand what Asensio's doing there. He could have put them he could have I don't know if it's matching matching limitations or not. He could have put his drill for drill into the penalty area. There's no reason not to. Those guys are waiting for it in there. But we're dominant, which can't create a kick or chance for Mbappe. That's really poor from two Menji. Again, use his head when again that's I think that comes down to the matching and still got that thing in it where a guy, the ball's in the air, so they've got to use their head rather than, like, get in front of it and shield it. But again, I think that's because of matching the kind of physicality. Um, not really soft on the team. 
because I'm not I'm not creating those chances. But I do think we are the better team. But at least now we've got options off the bench that I'm more comfortable with having. Like bring Vratti on and things like that, rather than bringing on Soler and Vitinho, who I didn't really rate. So there's more options on the bench. To Menji, that's a great ball. What a ball. Mbappé's through and scores! PSG nil, Saint Etienne nil, and it's. Well, I'm going to say a French combination, but there's so many, there's so many French players in this squad that's kind of a given at, at, at times. Great ball over the top from Tuz Menji here. Mbappé gets in behind, nice control. And then it's all about the finish then, isn't it? And he, Nikita maybe couldn't bet with that. But it's 1-0. Frankie Mbappe. That's a goal that we've... we've that's the first chance we've created, for, I think, for him in the whole match. He's definitely on side. I don't know why they're, checking, why they're showing the lines for it. Yeah, they showed some... They, they, they get, last year, there was some that was really, really close. They didn't show it. Messed with a free kick. Oof, they too. There was some last year in live comments where we were literally... Like, it, was, it, was, it, was, it could have been inches, it felt like. No, no, no sign, no sign of a replay to show the offside call. But anyway, second goal now. Let's see if his team can um, find it. Ball in the box. There's McKayley. Oh, McKayley, was there? Sorry, saw the M. I went, I went McKayley. Green's got it. Long ball. Jump for that. Okay, don't bother. akimi has got it back anyway. I can't, I can't get. You can't get perfect players. That you can't get the whole team full of night eighteen work rates. But I think we've got more work rate in the team than we had before. Um, I still think the pressing can't be done what I want to, but I think still good options, good signs that we've made. Muslera, that's a good ball. Akimi, early ball in the box. Okay, interesting. Mbappe's in there, the bar, and pressure on them. Okay, it's it's um, a foul, but like the idea from Karanga. Get in there, work hard, try and get the ball back. Mendes. Now Messi. Ah, that's poor. I think he's lack of communication there. I think what's happened there is he he knows he's there, but then I think he's made the run and Messi not realised it, and then it's the, the ball's not quite right. Messi. Again, that was just a poor pass. Or oh, good defending. I'm not quite sure what to, I think it was a bit of both. Long ball, offside, surely. Mendes, second goal. Come on, boys. Mendes can't find a pass through. He can. Mbappe's in. And there's a second goal. There's a second. He's had two chances all game, Mbappe, I think, if my memory serves. And he scored them both. Uh, Mendes with a good ball through. Mbappe in behind. And it looks like we're going to win this game, win this final. We've been the better side. It's a good ball through from Mendes. Good control from Mbappe. And a lovely little finish. I'm going to try not to play, not to play Ronaldo as much because he's 38. Pushing 39 very soon, I think. And I'm going. I want to look out for a young striker to bring in, and ideally someone with high work rates is what I'd like. Because I'm thinking long term with some players, like young talent that are really, really impressive that can push into the team and still develop a lot. Because I don't know how long it's going to, how long it's going to take me to win the Champions League. Because I've got a stinking suspicion I won't win it this year either. <laughs> but we'll see. Don't think cross that in. Easy. At least there, I, I would say. It'll be, Toribo has been a very good centre back. He's been very well today. I think he's not one of your head in the air, I don't think, but he's so physically imposing at times because of his height that I think he's just making people not win the ball easily themselves. So that's helping him. Messi, come a finger. That's an interesting ball. That's a that's that's them panicking. And that's does that's us rushing the gun a bit too much. Sensio. Crosses it in. And there's the work rate. There's the work rate in midfield. And it's cost a goal. It's, it's cost a goal from us. There is the work rate from Kamavinga in midfield. Getting in there, getting stuck in, not letting them settle, and then we score. I don't want. To, I don't want to try and think that. I'm trying to say, but you see here, ball comes in. It's cleared. Look, coming here, straight on it. Look, don't let him settle. Then quickly, quick counter attack, and then it's all about a bit of fortune there with the goal from uh, defle from deflection directly. But I think the Kamavinga work rate makes up for that. I was really good. Kamavinga's not all game. Throw in now. Come at to, to Menji. Messi. But she's had a bit of a okay game. He's getting the ball a bit too, too many times for my liking, though. Upicano. Todibo. Come a finger. Nice football being played here. Just, just be careful in this, in this area. Bit, be careful in this area. Messi. Mbappe. Nice football again. Finds Asensio. 
Cousin in fact, both of us was lit towards. Oh, which layer of scores? I was about to say it's going over the other bar, but it's looped in for four. Right, now we can make changes now because I want to bring players on. Let's get Neymar in. Um, let's get Verratti in for two Menji. Uh, Ronaldo can come on as well. Can we come off change? Can we more changes? No, I can't. I'll make three. Let's get first, just get them on the pitch. Give them a, give them a bit of a run out. It's four nil. It's been coming. We've been comfortable in this game. It's all about first, getting that first goal. And once we've got it, we just settle down. The football we've played today has been really really good as well. And I'm liking the I'm liking the I'm liking the, I'm liking the midfield central partnership I've got. And Muslera gets his, gets is his, is his debut goal to the counter's debut goal. I suppose it is. But four nil. Looks like, well, it doesn't look like it. I'm pretty sure and guaranteed now we're going to win, we're going to win this trophy. We should do win these games anyway. There's obviously the big test Champions League games. And obviously I don't know what the schedule is going to be for Champions League. Um, but I will obviously have a look at the fixtures in a minute and try and glean from it where it could be. Kevin is such a good player, by the way. Neymar. This midfield feels like really, really strong. Oh, Sancho's in here. Hold it up. He does. But then you guys, he rushes blood. At 4 0, you can let that slide a little bit, can't you? I mean, if that was like 1 0, I'd be a bit more annoyed because, like, dude, wait for the opportunity to give to your teammates. Don't go hitting stupid shots like that. Back to keeper. Okay. Careful with, careful with the position here. Come on, finger. Again, good football again. There's a nicely patient play out from the back. Mendez. Off he goes. Can you find Ronaldo in the penalty area? He tries to. He does. But unfortunately, um, not on target. Well, I cannot fault this performance. I literally cannot fault it. Maybe, other than maybe it took longer to get the goal I would have, than I would have liked. But we've been the midfield has been really, really good. Muslera has been solid as well. It just feels like a much better midfield. It's got more energy about it, which is what I wanted. Um, whilst Fabian and Verratti are very, very, very good players. Verratti, of course, still beating here. I felt they lacked the energy in midfield. In big games, I need that energy in there. Obviously, Verratti's still got opportunities to play. He will play in those games. Um, I can see myself selling Sanchez and bringing another ball in midfielder just to rotate with Camavinga because I don't think Sanchez is going to... I don't think... Because Tumenja, like him as a midfielder who can play the ball around. I think he's got more in him. Than just a ball in midfielder. So, and Sanchez wants to leave as well. So, I think the one more deal I could do would be a ball in midfielder. Now, I don't know who it would be. It might be someone who would have to be a squad player. I'll look around and see what's available, but I'm not guaranteed. It all depends on what I think about two Menji, whether I think he's going to be a ball in, ball in midfielder or a midfield playmaker. I'm lean towards him being a playmaker in midfield. Brilliant performance. Another trophy in the cabinet. The one, the, obviously, the main trophy we want to, want to get. Is Champions League? Uh, I'm gonna just con I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and talk to the media more, but I always forget to do it. I, I do for like two or three games and I forget about it. Um, so uh, let's go. Press the. I'd love to do a green screen thing here, but I don't have the space behind me here to put a green screen on. So let's go positive in this press conference. There we go. Bingo. So I don't think we're going to see the Champions League draw today. No. So the next episode, well, the obvious one to do is Monaco. Because they beat us last time we played the Monaco and Ren in the league. Obviously, if a Champions League game gets put in there, which I don't, I, I'm not entirely sure what the dates are off the top of my head, I'll then obviously make an adjustment. But right now, Monaco and Ren are the same player. So while we're here, let's have a look and see what the director of football recommends for a bowling midfielder. Um, if you if you, if you, if he recommends anybody, Bellingham, Goretzka, I would love this guy. They give Glasgow squad, but I don't think he want. I don't. Oh, what, not not. What I must want for him? Yeah, only seventeen million pound. Not happening. Marcos Lorente would be a really good player as well, but again, I think that's going to be the fee is going to be massive for him. It's not that much, actually. I can see myself doing this deal right now on on, on video. 25. And then I always start like lowish because I want to see what they say. Then I said that other. 100 million pound for him. You're not getting that much money out of me. But I will give you 75. 
you know what? It's PSG. Let's have some fucking fun. Um, so I'm going to sell Renato Sanchez. He wants to leave. There's people interested in signing him. I can get some money for him. Um, I'm going to sell him right now and see what offers come in for him right now as, as, as we're talking. Real transfer, live transfer stuff here. Yep. Brentford offer for Sanchez. You want? Okay, yeah, you can have him. But you've got to pay the money. Yeah, you're not having him for that. Um, what's what does he want though? As a squad player, and he wants to play that role. Absolutely perfect. That is exactly what you want to hear. And I okay the wage. Yeah, brilliant. Uh, so that's exactly what I wanted him to do. A squad player. He's not going to start every game, but basically, Kavinga and Lorente will be our ball midfielders. Tumenji and Verratti will be our midfield playmakers, and then Fakir back up for Messi, Muslera and Neymar. The, we, 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 I'm very pleased how the window has gone. Obviously, I'm going to sell Sanchez um, in the meantime to try and move him on to recoup some of the money we're going to spend. Once you not just buy him, lads. Yeah, they won't. Sell. I'll try and sell him. I'll, I'll, I'm I'm rushing the deals in a minute. Anyway, so in this episode we will do um, like I said, Monaco and Ren next episode. Should be tomorrow as well. But obviously, if Tramzy gets scheduled in there, that will dictate what we do uh, and go from there. So if you have enjoyed the episode, I hope you have. Hit the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new as well. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.